Hey guys, here's a little something I thought you might find interesting, or maybe I should say a little big something. What this is is one of the largest round black and white picture tubes ever made. It's a 19 AP4. By way of a little comparison, here is it. Here it is next to a 10 inch set. And here's a little 5 inch picture tube. The construction on these is, is kind of interesting. To save weight, because these would be very heavy if this was all glass, this is mostly metal. The front is glass, and the back end is glass, but all this is spun steel with a, uh, a seam here and a seam up front. Now this uh, poses a couple uh, problems traditional all glass CRT that connected the high voltage with a little button there and a heavily shielded wire would go to it. Well, in these, because it's all metal, they attach the high voltage to the entire metal cone here. Quite dangerous, as the, all these warning labels all over it indicate, because while this set's operating, this entire cone is operating at about 17,000 volts. And if you were to reach into the set uh, and come anywhere near it, you're going to get a shock. One hell of a shock, in fact. What they did to offer some protection is it actually comes with this plastic skirt. Um, it might help a little bit, but uh, I certainly wouldn't uh, want to go anywhere near it while it's turned on. Another problem is if this were to crack and implode. An all glass CRT is bad enough. It'll implode and little bits of glass will go flying around. But with this, if this was to break, it'll implode, bits of glass will go flying backwards and towards the center of the tube, and they'll hit this metal and come sh flying back out the front, almost like a little shrapnel cannon. So what they did to offer some protection for that is, it comes with this giant uh, piece of safety glass. Safety glass is a couple sheets of glass with a sheet of some type of plastic membrane in between. So if the glass cracks, instead of shards coming loose, that membrane will hold them intact, so it'll break like a spider web, but all the pieces will still be um, tied together. Now, this isn't my tube. This isn't for one of my sets. The largest set I have is actually only a 12-inch round set. Uh, this is from a friend's set, and I'm testing it out for him. And luckily, it does test good, because these are quite uncommon, uh, hard to come by. I was worried about this one in particular because the base on it is cracked and quite loose. But the five connections here were still sound. I uh, will either try to find a base for maybe another tube that's dead I can take off, or I'll just uh, try to fill this in with epoxy as best I can to stabilize it. Another interesting thing about this particular tube is that it's a rebuilt tube. And this is right here, rebuilt tube, and it says it on the base. And on the base it actually says factory rebuilt, which is good, so we know it was done professionally, not by some guy in his basement. Rebuilding tubes was pretty common back in the, uh, in the 50s, because these were quite expensive, and it was actually economical to repair a tube rather than uh, toss it and, and buy a new one. From what I understand, to rebuild a tube, what you would do is take the base off, break the little glass seal, to let air back into the tube. Then use a hot wire and cut the neck open. You can see the seam right here. Take the neck off, remove all these metallic insides, replace it, put a new glass tube on, uh, weld the glass back together, pump the air out, seal the, uh, the end off, and put the base cap back on. This test really strong though, so uh, whoever rebuilt it seems to have done a pretty good job with it. Now luckily when you're working on a set like this, you don't have to ha attach this gigantic tube to it while it's on your workbench. That's why they made these little guys, the 5AXP4s. So you can actually hook this up to the set while it's on your workbench and put this away for safekeeping and only hook it back up when you're ready for some final testing and adjustments. Well, that's all I got for now. I hope you found this interesting.